Welcome back to my drone learning videos. Today we've got the, the Litchi app, but it's the beta version. It does allow me to use the Mini 3 Pro. Now, if you've not heard of this app before, you do have to pay for it, but it enhances a, uh, a drone, especially a drone like the Mini 3 Pro, where all of the updates from DJI, DJI um, are not available anymore. They are with the Mini 3, I believe. So just, just a quick one here. So when you connect the app, you obviously download the app from, from Litchi. Uh, there's an APK and you can download it on your iPhone. And we are connected now. It will detect your drone automatically and they do recommend clearing all the cache, force stopping all your DJI drones. And what I did just to make sure it found it, I actually rebooted my everything basically, my app, my phone, and then it found it automatically no problem at all now one of the the nice things about this app is that you can actually create waypoints on your computer and I'll, uh, I'll show you that in a separate video and so here where there's a file on the left there we can bring in those flights that you may have saved I haven't saved any at the moment also if we hit the uh, the little arrow there you get these these cool maps here look and just looking at these different selections just tapping them as we go through. Look at that. And then we go back across the top. You can see you've got your manual fl flight there, which is what I'm doing now. You can do a waypoint flight, which you pre-select. And we can get it to, to follow me as well if I press play there, but I'm not going to press play. Back to manual flight. It's quite windy out here, so I've only got it, as you can see, 0 0.6 meters from the ground. And this is actually the first time I've, I've turned on this app, used this app. Uh, the drone, yeah, the signal's there at the very top. And it looks like we've got the, the remote control signal, battery percentage, 21, I would say that's, is that our satellite? Then on the right hand side here, it shows that there's no SD card in there. And then we'll hit settings and then we now go through all these different settings, general, map type satellite etc go back i'm just going to quickly go through them drone max altitude return to home altitude and uh camera there you go storage account and about let's get the about check for update i think we're updated to the it is like i said it's the beta version i will um run the the standard version as well um and then this the, Please check the compatibility of different drones. Um, I need to uh, have a look myself. So yeah, it's gonna fly it towards me. We can select up here camera or video, like so. I'm gonna start, see if that starts. Not sure myself actually. Oh, look at that. And it's flipped it round. Zooming, let's uh, bring it towards me. Like I said, I'm keeping it low because it's very gusty here in the garden today. Um, all the controls on the remote, I'm using the N, the N, let's get it right, the N1 at the moment. You see me just there. <laughs> Got my socks on. Um, and then forward, remote controller battery low, it's saying. Oh yeah, that wind is really gusty. Really gusty. And normally the Mini Pro does well, but this is gusty. So thanks for watching. Got a bit more to learn on this. As you can tell, it's the first time I've actually run the app. It was £24.99, but the idea is that, especially because I want to keep my, my Mini 3 Pro, um, is, to, is the updates that, that the, say, the 4 Pro and the, the new 5 Pro and the Mavic, you know, uh, regarding waypoints, follow me, and all these extra nice little features that are being introduced by DJI and that have been stopped on certain drones. I think one of them is a Mini 2, is it? Um, you can now get. Uh, so loads of functions, big instruction manual. I'll put all the links in for you. Easy download, of course, straight, straight from the Play Store. And the um, and your iPhone. I'm just going to download it, and then uh, 
I'll quickly show you the little crash there. Well, the propeller hit the ground. But anyway, I'll quickly show you the what you can see on your PC when you're creating the waypoints at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If we look here at the Open Beta Litchi Pilot, you can see the compatible drones there. Mini 4 Pro, Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro. Matrice 4 ETDTD, Mavic 3 Enterprise 3, 3T3M, Mattress 30, Mattress 300 and 350. So it says here there's some unsupported hardware and it's basically because DJI no longer supports the or provides the the SDK, which I believe is the ability to you know run or use the the drone with third party apps. Hamtech, welcome back to my drone learning videos. Looking at Litchi for drones here. So on the left hand side, you've got their main page. You can download this on your Android phone and your iPhone. So we have a way of setting up waypoints and a lot more automated flight um, selections using the hub that they have. So, for example, on the right hand side here, this is a the what we call in my town the old pier, and there's some waypoints there that have been, you know, pre-made by another pilot. Let's call it. And so you can put these missions into your account, and then when you when you're on the app that runs the the litchi you'll be able to just select these waypoints and then fly them of course you can create your own uh, waypoints and missions as well you have your user guide here so of course it looks different than your dji app but you know the contents are all there it's focusing on automated flights but yeah it's it's not a free app there is a beta download it should work on your dji mini 3 mini 4 but also I notice here that they mention the DJI Mini 2, Mini SE and the Air 2S. So some of the older drones, the, I've got the Mini 3 Pro here. And there is some video here showing some follow modes. And of course you can take photos and videos as it follows. So I'll put that link in. Check out the forum as well. And you know, I've literally just, just discovered this. So um there's a beta feedback and I, I noticed on a couple of videos people downloading beta so the beta version do you still have to pay for that just looking here on the launch the new litchi hub and it's saying the litchi hub is compatible with all drone models supported by our mobile apps and will eventually replace the old mission hub so there's a new it's like it says here may hmm, is that 22 is this an older listing if i just click that will it just take me to what i'm already on okay yeah let's go to where i'm located All right so i live around here that's the burnbeck pier that we just showed you okay you got your waypoints there now it seems quite straightforward to create these missions. So we're at just a random location here. And if you look here, <coughs> got selections here as well. Looks like you've got Google Maps as well. So if we just zoom in somewhere and then we're gonna right click here and it gives us one waypoint. And we can actually click on that. I believe no, it's not letting me. Let's do the second one. This is where I need to actually learn how to use it. I'm just tinkering. This is really a link just to the fact that this even exists. So let's just uh, right click again. We get our first waypoint and we can adjust the height here. It knows our location. Then we'll go click over here, two. And you have got a settings cog down here as well that you can play with. Um, so cruising speed, max flight, photo, capture, seconds, default. So lots of little you know settings within settings that you can 
change here and what it's going to do when it finishes either nothing or return to home for example close and let's click another one here so we'll go like so one I'm going to watch a video how to actually do this there's two three four five well, I don't think I'll carry on now because I, I, you know, I've never used it. It's that simple. I've never used it. Um, but I found the link. I found it interesting. Um, so check it out. Check out the downloads. I'm going to watch a load more videos on this. You know, if you're really into automated flying, yeah, and you know, and you can make it um, fly over, you know, of course, stay within your licensing conditions. But it sounds like it's a very customizable way of flying your drone if this is your thing um, and you can get some really good cinematic shots and it does all a lot of the work for you. So I highly recommend you check out the videos. You may as well register because it's free. Um, the question I have is um, can you download the beta version and test it for free? Because It's £24.99 uh, on the purchase. And so it'd be nice, uh, it says here the app is available for some of your devices, yeah. It'd be nice to sort of have, be able to test it first and see if you like it. And I, I've seen videos of people talking about the beta version. So here is, I'm seeing the beta APK. Let's see if I can get that on my phone. So yes, found this link just here with a free APK download. I've connected my phone that you can see now. So we're going to install and launch that and just see if my drone connects to it. Click open. And remember, I've never used this ever. So and uh, log in with my account, which I have created. So, yeah, we've got the uh, we've got the beta version um, downloaded all free at the moment. Let's grab my aircraft. Right. I've got the, the Mini 3 here. Back to the pro model. Now, please remember, I've never used this. So, aircraft. And let's go to connection. So, okay, we'll end it there. But it looks to me like to, to get the takeoff, you know, in the app, you have to pay the $25. Uh, but it did allow me to download the ABK. And I just need to watch more videos. But this is just literally me learning that there was even an app called Litchi. Bye for now.